ladies and gentlemen, it is go time. My name is Todd Grisham. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. Looking forward to this one, Todd. It's time for our tale of the tape. Muhammad Ali. He stands 191 centimeters tall with a reach of 198. He'll square off against smoking Joe Frazier. Only six feet tall even, 229 pounds, but he hits harder than any man alive. An amazing reach advantage that fighters do not expect to see in this kind of fighter. The jab is unassumingly long and sharp and fast, and that will really put you off your stride. This is Muhammad Ali. Young man rumble, that's the mantra, fresh off that famous win over Sonny Liston. Smoking Joe Frazier, his three. This bout is scheduled for eight rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner. Introducing in this corner, undefeated in his campaign with a record of 20 wins, no losses, 16 wins coming by way of knockout. The renowned U.S. Olympic gold medalist and the newly crowned heavyweight champion of the world, formerly known as Cassius Clay, introducing the Louisville Lip, Muhammad Ali. Fighting out of the blue corner, the Olympic gold medalist from Beaufort, South Carolina, the Hall of Famer from the golden era of heavyweights, a heavyweight champion of the world, smoking Joe Frazier. The fans are ready, and it looks like the fighters are now ready. Todd, I'm going to stay here till the end of the night, because if you're a fight fan like me, this is what I live for. No doubt about it, this was the hottest ticket in town by a country mile. Every seat has been sold. Frazier's been in so many hellacious battles over the years. The trilogy with Muhammad Ali, his fights against George Foreman. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. Good counter punch. And here comes the legend, Joe Frazier, Hall of Famer, all-time great. This fighter's always on their toes, trying to get their opponent rattled, get them off kilter, get them out of their rhythm. Outside fighters create so much unpredictable movement with left to right, box forward, box backwards. You don't know if they're going to attack or defend. Nightmare fighters. This fight a little bit closer than I think a lot of people thought. No rest for the weary. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out there. Missing with the hook. a counter shot. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Very close now with 10 seconds to go. And a round that seemed like an eternity for them. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. Nice counter shot. 
This fighter brings a barrage of punches. They won't let you breathe if they're fighting a hornet's nest. Swarmer, a good swarmer, will get inside you like a, like a bee. Like a bee, you can pop and sting in you wherever you leave yourself open. A swarmer is the worst kind of fight to fight. Swinging big and missing big with that hook. Every time he throws a punch, a receipt is coming right back. This has been a very competitive round between these two. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. So i got to respect both of them more than happy. Caution is being thrown to the wind. Like to see more jabs. Good idea, but misses with the left hook. Despite what the judges' scorecards lead, there are no losers in this one. Every time he throws a punch, a receipt is coming right back. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt who won that round. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter. And the cornerman's got to put a firecracker on that fighter. Get out there and get the job done. And there's the bell to start the round. That round was complete domination. Let's see if we can shake things up here in this round. Hard. My motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. How about that time counter shot? Counter punch. They call it the glory division. There's nothing quite like a heavyweight fight. It doesn't take much to win it. One punch could change everything in this battle. Can't find a home for that jab. Frazier is in trouble again! How is this fight still continuing? Oh no! Ali is down! One, two, three, So the referee says he can continue, but how much more does he have left? What resilience to be down and to be back up again, to get yourself back into fight again, to show your fitness and determination, maximum respect. Ten seconds to go, and what domination we've seen in this round. He threw a punch and just got countered. Let's see how the game plan changes after that big knockdown. Can make or break a fighter. Frazier's been in so many hellacious battles over the years. The trilogy with Muhammad Ali, his fights against George Foreman, a true legend. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. What a knockdown. One minute, you need one hour to get over a shot like that. Now it's down to conditioning. Now it's down to mental strength and preparation. It's how you are going to deal with this. Beautiful counter punch. Well, Johnny, we're in the early stages here. What have you seen so far? They know the second they touch you, it's done. They're that powerful. Has to be careful.
careful for that receipt. It's always coming. Swing and miss with that hook. How about that time counter shot? What the knockout? I can't believe we're only halfway through the round. Is this the beginning of the end for Muhammad Ali? And it appears the onslaught is over, at least for now. He's back up, but at some point, Johnny, he's got to live to fight another day, doesn't he? Well, now it's about getting back to the corner, freshen up, get new instructions given to you, and they've got to gear you up. They've got to tell you what you're doing wrong. Who would have thought Ali would get rattled like this? Till it's over, but that knockdown is going to be huge. I love the response, though. Got back up, took a deep breath, and thought, right, brush it off, get on with the job. And here comes the legend Joe Frazier, Hall of Famer, all time great. They really got banged up last round. What can they do here to change the momentum? Oh, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, John, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything, full battle because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. Good counter punching. They hit like heavyweights, but they move like middleweights. Truly elite-level stuff here. It's the one who draws first blood time. That's what you've got to look at. If you hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be honest, but you've got to be confident. The bravery being shown here is just incredible. Perfect dance partner. Missing with the left hook. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Well, Johnny, I know it's still early on, but have you been surprised by anything you've seen? Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now we can find out. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. That was almost a 10-8 round. Complete dominance. Dominance, without a doubt. Meg looks so, so easy. They ring the bell, and here we go. They've got all the momentum on their side after that last round. Let's see what they do here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. You'd like to see someone use a jab here to establish a boxing presence, but no, they just want to fight. Nice exchange here from both men. They're both looking for the knockouts here, and that's what we expect from heavyweights. Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. <laughs> There's a counter shot. 
One moment changes everything, especially in this division. These two in combination work together. One punch is good, two punches better. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. A straight right just misses. Punch, counter punch. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. down big time on the scores. Wow, you know what? I've been in fights like that. When you're thinking, come on, Bo, ring away. You walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. Facing Joe Frazier, who won gold at the 64 Olympic Games. Let's see how they bounce back here in this round. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then, put the pressure on. What do you think of what we've seen so far from these two boxers, Johnny? Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off protecting everything around them. Work the body, use tactics sometimes. It's so hard to actually outbox a fight and beat them on points. He's dropped the guard now. What do you think of that decision? miss with that hook very competitive round here so far they're simply not going to throw their opponent by any means but they will when they hit be a lot harder you've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger stronger and faster you just got to use brain Frazier being much more selective with his punches. <laughs> the greatest has been dazed. Muhammad Ali in trouble. How is Frazier still standing? Being dazed now needs to stay. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage. Frazier's been in so many hellacious battles over the years. The trilogy with Muhammad Ali, his fights against George Foreman, a true legend. Coming off that great round, let's see if they can build on momentum here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. And he scores with the counter. The straight right just misses. And he wasn't ready for that counter punch. And Johnny, you know, there's a fine line between being aggressive and being too aggressive. Can you imagine if he knocks out this legend? Free says they can continue, but how much more do they have left? He's up, but, but for how long? Look at her. On the heels. Look at her. There's nothing there. There's no defense. The eye is raised. It just takes one more. The fighter's vision is paramount, and the referee may stop it here. Are you okay? So this fight will continue. 
some bruising heavy shots. They're happy this round's coming to an end. Ten seconds left. Punch. As you know in boxing, the judging can go all over the place, and that's kind of what we got here. A split decision victory. A split decision. I've enjoyed that. I actually forgot the rounds rolled by. The rounds were that close. They flew by. But what excitement. I could watch another 15 rounds of that. They probably can't do it, but we can watch it. Split decision. Good call.